So guys, today I got for you a collection overview on the fantastic Italian niche friend Lorenzo Pazalia that I discovered for myself just recently and fell in love with. So these fragrances are very artistic and that's why totally worth your attention. So keep on watching for all the details and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now if you're here for the first time and give this video a huge thumbs up if you love to find out about interesting niche friends. And once you're done with that, we can get started. Hello and welcome everyone to today's video in which I want to introduce you to the Italian artistic niche brand Lorenzo Pazalia that I discovered for myself just recently and one of the highlights for me was not only to smell the entire collection but also to meet Lorenzo personally because he is very creative. Actually he is a chef and he has been into artistic fragrances somehow he wanted to create his own ones and create them in a very high concentration so they have the stellar performance which they do so in case you are into big sillage and intense projection then this is definitely a brand for you so without any further ado let's jump right into this video and I would like to start with my favorite fragrance actually this is the one that um, kind of got me interested in this brand because when I read about the notes in the Il Angel, by the way, how cool is this name? It's totally me. I mean, like, the fragrance is so beautiful and complex as the majority of these, but there's something absolutely special about it because we have all kind of notes in here. Tropical fruits, mint, cashmere, warm wood, oak wood, rain notes, paddy grain, citruses, and then the citron, the whiskey, the rose, the coconut, black locust, cinnamon, vanilla, tobacco, myrrh, sandalwood, cedarwood. So as you can probably tell, there is everything you can imagine. So it is quite fruity, but very, very coconutty and creamy. The mint in there with the wormwood it just creates a very atmospheric effect. The booziness is so soft, it's not too harsh, it's not too intense. The black locust, I find it adds to the powderiness as well as cinnamon and vanilla, sandalwood and all the base notes, they just round it up. So the overall impression is quite like a complex, hard to define powdery scent that projects intensely. I mean like I sprayed on myself and was laying on the couch and the next day, the day after that, the pillows were smelling of it. So it is really, really strong, it projects intensely and it is really wearable. So since it's like a powdery fragrance with so many different elements, it's totally up uh, right up my alley. I love it so much. I find it is wearable, it is unisex and I get compliments for it. And actually people get interested in this fragrance and ask me about it. So in case you have a similar taste to mine, I think you should definitely check out Evil Angel. Normally I don't recommend to blind buy perfumes, but this one is so good that um, in case you are interested in it, definitely go ahead and grab yourself a bottle. But let's move on to the next one. I have uh, top favorites in full size, but there are a few more that I definitely want to add to my collection. But when I smelled this perfume, Adam and uh, Eva's dress, by the way, check out this bottle. It is so cute. I mean, like the design is so, so beautiful. I was really, really wowed by it, you know, and I love that feeling when perfumes offer something new and interesting because although it is centered on the note of fig, and in case you love it, you will adore the perfume because in here you will get the fig fruit, the fig leaf, the fig tree. So it is very much Figgy, but there is something green and crisp in the opening, like, uh, you know, uh, freshly cut leaves. There is white peach, so it adds to the fruity part. There are some flowers that are not too noticeable, and although many other fig perfumes, they quickly change into a skin scent. This one has very interesting dry down because there is actually a note of milk in the base, and it is a little bit cheesy, like a little bit sour. Maybe that's a little bit of a strange description, but the fragrance is so interesting, not your typical fig perfume, although fig is here the main note. So just in case you love it and you also enjoy green perfumes and milky texture, like tonic elements, I think you will actually enjoy this one. But there is something else in the collection with the note of fig. 
and uh, this one is quite beautiful I first tried it out um, you know like uh, as the number one perfume of the brand I was just so interested in the name because something I can't pronounce it um, and I have so many samples I just need to find it so here it is and it's a very different type of a thick scent because in here we have ozonic notes, sea notes, caviar, vodka, so it is not um, a boozy one, there is something salty in there for sure, very mineral, but also in the dry down there is vanilla, ambroxan, hazelnut and uh, some other very fun notes like hibiscus, dabana, dry fruits, so you can tell that uh, these fragrances are very creative and unique as far as, you know, the structure and the notes breakdown. Um, so, in case you prefer ozonic, crisp, you know, airy, salty, mineral fragrances with something, you know, almost fruity, but not to the point you can actually tell which fruit is in there, I would actually recommend you this one because it is really, really nice. And if I need to recommend you one between these uh, two fig perfumes, I would definitely go for Adam and Eva's, but it, that's just my uh, personal preference because I like milky texture in the perfumery and I totally adore how he worked on the fruity and milky tones in that. But let's move on to the next perfume that is called Pax and this one is quite intense as all of these are obviously but there is something about it that when I'm wearing it I always smell it on myself and others do too although i only have it in a sample format but the thing about it is that it is quite ambery and fruity that's for it reminds me just a little bit of erba pura by Xerja that you know i'm not the biggest fan of but in here there is a bit less of that off putting musky ambery note because we have um, quite you know fruity opening of grapes of citruses pa passion fruit so it is definitely fruity, exotic, very modern and uh, in case you love Herba Pura, I'm sure you will prefer this one because it is very, very strong. Once again, like the Siyash is there with you all day long. But um, let's move on to the next perfume that is called um, Extreme Passion. So Extreme Passion is another fruity fragrance. And um, as you can tell, uh, there are a lot of fruity perfumes in Lorenzo's collection and uh, this one is um, good um, it's not my favorite though because um, it is very very strong even like a little bit too much for me personally we have very similar notes to the previous one in here peach is really you know like um, peachy you can tell actually that peach is in there or something in that style and um, it smells even more like Herba Pura, so not necessarily my number one favorite, but the one that I absolutely adore and find is so, so unique, especially the rose lovers will um, enjoy it, is Passion Rose. So this passionate rose is so full bodied. In case rose is your favorite note, you should definitely check it out because you will get rose in here in its full beauty. It's a fruity rose, it's a green crisp rose, it is a very essential rose, so it's like the rose rose that grows in your garden and then you cut it and put into the vase and you will get like all the stages of it so yeah it is just fantastic very very beautiful kind of rose fragrance it's for the time when you can't get enough of a rose perfume and you want like a rose to the max it is so strong it is so almost overwhelming but at the same time fresh so it's not too intense too heavy there are spicy elements lots of fruity elements there is even a bit of oud oak mass so the elegance is there too, but it is really right in your face rose. So not necessarily the rose solid floor, but um, a very dominant rose fragrance. That's unisex because of the freshness. So I would definitely recommend it to the rose lovers. If you're not into the rose, then I'm not sure you will really enjoy it. But when I smelled it, I was absolutely wowed by it. So yeah, uh, it's one of my favorites for sure from the collection and my mom loves it too. I get compliments for it because it projects intensely. It's like a walking rose next to you but with that being said let's move on to the sea collection because we have a lot of sea fragrances in Lorenzo's um, line and one of them is black sea so maybe I shouldn't spray it on myself because it's not uh, my favorite because it is so fresh it's almost like um 
mm, clean freshness so it's salty it has ozonic watery notes in there are like really cool so if you love cool fragrances i prefer warmer ones but in case you love saltiness you love this you know oceanic breeze you really want a mineral fragrance i think you will enjoy this sexy is another one that uh, is a little bit um how should i say too um masculine for me because here is wormwood with a lot of citrus so it is extra fresh and reminds me of masculine perfumes masculine cologne so since lorenzo is into you know very high quality fragrances he's actually a collector he wanted you know this uh, ultra performance from his perfumes that will last so in case you are into freshies but you notice that they don't really last that long on you you should definitely check out um, these C fragrances um, of his um, I personally prefer to next perfumes from the C collection one of them is Van C and it is just my love it's one of those that I really want to add to my collection because Van C is like a salty vanilla fragrance this is definitely going on my skin because Oh, I love this opening. It's like a real vanilla that's not too sweet, that is a little bit spicy. Oh my god, in here we have so many kinds of vanilla, actually. Bourbon vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, Tahitian vanilla, black vanilla. So it is very vanillic, but with white flowers, with some caramel, with ambergris, with agar wood, with myrtle. So it's complex, it's very interesting. Oh, and it is so good. Like, honestly, it is almost syrupy, but in a nice way. Um, I wouldn't call it gourmand, actually. There is another one that is more gourmand. But first, let me tell you about Dream C that Benny wears now. He's ready to work this morning and the entire house was smelling of this fragrance, which was great. Because this is like, a, I would describe it as a fresh watery spicy vanilla so in here we also have salt we have different flowers and spices green notes watery notes so it, it smells like a very modern type of vanilla fragrance it's not too gourmand it is really well balanced it's on the fresh side that's why it is so wearable you can literally put it to work and people will love you for the way you smell because vanilla fragrances are very attractive so in case you're looking for new and very long-lasting powerful perfumes with vanilla i would definitely recommend you to look into vanillas from lorenzo because he works on this note really really um, masterfully i really enjoy his touch also with sometimes boozy hints for example this one carbonara maybe i should have shown you the box first this is how the fragrance comes in is probably one of uh, the most challenging ones from the collection for me although i really enjoy his touch the signature this perfume really took me by surprise i was like um shocked by it how powerful it is because in the opening there is black pepper and it is like black pepper you guys i have never smelled perfume in which black pepper would be so noticeable but it is softened by coconut and yet there is some strange type of almost sourish smoke maybe the sour element comes from davana i'm not sure but there is room as well so it's like a sour spicy boozy type of vanilla that really evolves on the skin and dries down to something almost completely different than it was in the opening that's where it is interesting but not necessarily like my number one because some of the others i prefer just a bit more for example another vanilla and it's probably the last but not least one is called uh van piro Problem is France name, so 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 sorry for that. We'll spray it right here because it is fantastic, boozy, caramelized, um, woody vanilla. Once again, vanillic according here is very very uh, full bodied, very different types of vanilla, and uh, the booziness in here it is patchouli. So patchouli in here is one of the main notes. I adore it. I love it. It's a winter perfume. It's a very warm scent. It projects really well. It is noticeable. So in case you love patchouli and you love boozy scents and you love vanilla, then this is the one for you. It's another must-have for me 
personally but uh, with that being said we have a few others left like bloody smoke and this is like a very instancy but not churchy type of fragrance that is mysterious that is um like this beautiful olibanum perfume it is very cool and um sort of wintry more like evening type of the fragrance reminds me just a little bit of um christmas holiday so in case you are into those uh, incensey churchy or just um, you know atmospheric perfumes i think you will actually enjoy this one but there is uh, another one and it's fresh spicy and um, a little bit bitter that's why i'm not very much into ascopazo but i think man would be so in there is artemisia there is leather it's not too animalic it's rather like a spicy fresh spicy aromatic cypressy geranium lavender mm, more masculine you know glassy type of the fragrance probably that's why i'm not into it because i am so much into his vanillas and fruity ones so there is something for everyone for sure that's why i was so amazed by the collection and to meet lorenzo in person was incredible he showed me some upcoming fragrances of his and um, they are just beautiful and i'm so glad that he not only created you know perfumes for his clients of the restaurant but decided you know to give this project like a real soul and launch the collection that is a very uh, complex and that's for I highly recommend you just to grab a sample pack and enjoy you will find a favorite for sure I promise you that especially if you're like me and you love sweet uh, boozy perfumes but let me know which of the mentioned fragrances stood out the most to you and you are interested in in case you've never heard about this brand and enjoyed watching this video found it helpful please give this video a huge thumbs up because they really help to get my videos out there and just in case you are already familiar with this brand please comment down below what are your favorites uh, other than that if you have any questions left i'm here to answer them so let's chat in the commentary section let me know your feedback uh, down below and don't forget to check out the description box there you'll find all the helpful information and on that note thank you so much for watching this video if you would like me to continue presenting you interesting niche brands just uh, let me know that and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you will be actually notified about those videos and with that being said thank you so much for watching please follow me on my social media so we can stay in touch and make sure to stay tuned and smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys